Happy with my guys' effort, especially in the second half. I thought it was a real team effort, and I thought we played a lot of energy, and I'm happy to get a win against a good team on the road. You got a lot of production out of the five position from uh, Taylor and then Jordan, especially late in the game. How is it to have that strong depth in your inside presence? Well, you know what? That's what we're looking for from the beginning of the year, especially when we recruited them. And I thought tonight was the first time that we actually got what we were looking for from both of them. And I think we can only get better from here if they can do to improve like that. And with AJ, oh, AJ back in the lineup, it seemed like it opened up some shots for Isaiah. It did, and I think Isaiah having to. to step up when AJ was gone, got a little bit more offensive minded. I think some of the shots he took after he had a tough start, I don't think he would have taken five games ago had AJ not been out, but he was forced to do that during those games. So I think it kept his confidence level high and he did a really good job. Tim, you put on the full court press against them and they've struggled a bit with the turnover this year. It wasn't doing too much in the first half, but what happened in the second half they really Ricky McGill. So we put Ricky in, I thought he gave us a little bit of extra energy on our defensive end and he brought the defensive mindset out there and he got some deflections and I think he got everyone else's energy going. I think once we get our energy going, we're a much better team that way. Early in the game, we're a little flat within it. Is that something you might employ for the rest of the season or is that specific to Quinnipiac? No, we'll use it at different times. How do you feel I, I, A.J. English did coming back? He had the strong uh, seven points in a row in the second half that really at a key point in the game. I thought it was huge that he was out there to make those plays. Uh, obviously, he, he was fighting off Russ in the first half, just getting used to playing again in competition. Pretty did a good job. And uh, second half, he was, looked like himself out there. Yeah. Do you always bring up that loss a couple of years ago when he came up here? When, when they guys come up here now, you always bring that up to them beforehand? Yeah, well, you, let's say we remind them of some things that have happened in the past. Right. Sure. How does it help your preparation for the conference schedule, having A.J. back in the, in the lineup? Well, in all fairness, we are kind of like shuffling what we've been doing over and over again with the, the additions and subtractions of guys through injuries and illnesses. So having him back is huge for us. And I just think right now we can get guys back to some of their natural positions and the way they would normally play when they have But some guys had to play out position for a while. And I think our whole team has more confidence with him on the court. Aaron Rantry seemed to make some help some plays. It was one really nice sh uh, pass he made under the basket to Jordan. He can pass the ball, and, he, and defensively, I think he gets his hands on a lot of balls, deflections, block shots, warm ups, and things. He's very active on defense, so I thought he brought a lot to the table tonight. I think our guys' rebounding was the key to the game. I think we out rebounded them by 15, and I think they're one of the top teams in the country in rebounding. I can remember Iona having 51 rebounds in a game in a long time. It's been a while. So if we do that every game, we'll be okay. It's good to see Ivan Muhammad got back up and got back in the game after that yeah. shot he took. Yeah, you mean the one where he wasn't fouled on? Yeah, you're right. Um, he went oh. down hard, I guess, like must just give it Hip right into the bat, upright. Thank God he's okay. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, Thank Coach. You. Good to see you.